Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. And apparently, while your game is paused, these things just grow. So they're not supposed to be anywhere near this done, but I've left the game long enough that they're just growing so fast. And it's actually hilarious that you can leave the game running and they still grow. Like, I was in on the menu, and it had my Switch in sleep mode, but it still just makes these grow, apparently. If this doesn't say anything about how long I can get distracted by something, I don't know what will. Uh, but anyway, the, the top one is a little bit out of the way to get. So I have to actually probably get one of the uh, octopuses, squids, th those ones, to actually get it since it's so high up. Unless I can, I can probably get it without one of those. Let me see if I can jump that high. Oh yeah, easily. Just like that. But anyway. Now that we've done the gardening so fast, that's just so funny that they grow so fast. It's time for this. This is our beach volleyball court. Have you played? You might enjoy it. Just touch the ball to return it. The volley continues after the until the ball hits the ground. This is kind of like the jump rope from the New Dog City. Except, uh, the jump rope is challenging, and this is hell. That's all I have to say about this. This is the hardest thing in the entire game, in my opinion. If you can do this, you can do anything in this game. This is the hardest moon in the game. You have to get it to 100 points. And it gets faster up until around 50. I don't remember, right? It's not exactly 50, though, so... You can use Cappy to... Throw it, and the best strategy you want to do is kind of circle around... Back to where it is, and then try to follow it as its shadow moves. 15 for the first one. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna do this, and then once it's done, I'm gonna return. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my goodness, that's probably the fastest I've ever done that. And it still took me a few tries. The first time I did this, it took me hours. Hours and hours of pure hell. That is the hardest moon of the game. I'm pretty sure that in attempts on previous playthroughs, I have probably been off by like one or two points before. Oh, just give me a second to make my body stop shaking because of that one moon being the hardest one in the game. I'm so happy it's over. I've been dreading it ever since I decided to do this game for YouTube. I'm not even joking. Just, it is the absolute worst. The rest of this level is going to be actually pretty relaxing, and actually. The music is very good. Also, both of the, um, the dories that are in this level are the, um, the, the shop. The whatever it is. The hap, cap, 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 hap, 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 cap, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know why I don't remember what it's called. But they both also have a power moon traveling with them, which is interesting. So let's grab that one. Oh my goodness. Ah, peace at last. I can 100% the game now. I don't even have to worry now that I have done the hardest stuff. Just, the rest of this is going to be so nice. I'm so happy with this. Anyway, somewhere around here. I think it's right here. If we ground pound. No. Maybe it's over here. I know that there's a thing around here somewhere. Right there. Is a power moon. I totally missed that one. Not gonna lie. I think that's what Cappy said before his text went, went away. Also, well, these kelp guys are terrifying in, the, in this level, so... We saw them already in the Lake Kingdom. Oh... So nice. Oh, please... Ah, oh, just please tell me if... Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just too happy. Just tell me your thoughts on the vo volleyball being the hardest moon in the game. Like, do you agree with that statement, or... Yeah. What else do you think? Anyway, the secret area, we have lava everywhere. And also these... Extend guys. And now the lava's rising. So let's just avoid that. Which is, this is just so easy compared to everything that I just did. Ah. <sighs> Not even worrying right now. Secret moon right here, which we have to grab as things are happening. The lava is rising, so we need to go a little bit quickly, but it's fairly alright. Anyway, let's grab that, please. Hurry and stretch. Oh my goodness. Grab that. Gonna go up now, probably. In fact, even out of the water. And I think there's actually something up here if I take one of these guys. Possibly, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Oh well. I can kill him anyway. I think there's possibly something down here, though. There's a lot of rumble spots down here, and it gives you hearts, but I think there's also a few other... Like, I think it gives you a moon. Possibly? I could be wrong. And I forget where it is every time, and I think it's different, probably. Just need to make sure I have air. I never know the vibrations, like what level of vibration is the strongest on the switch. There's a heart there. So if you need hearts, this is probably a good spot for it, except I'm pretty sure a moon is just better anyway, since it just full, full heals you. Anyway. Um, is that all of them? 
I don't know if there is actually a moon here anymore. I feel like there is, but also... It's not giving me anything so far, so... Anyway, let's just grab this power moon, and let's keep moving. I think there's also possibly... No? Okay. This is fine. I'm okay with being wrong. I'm just happy to have done the volleyball already. Never have to worry about that again. It's just smooth sailing from here. Probably. <laughs> now I'm gonna have trouble. Anyway, let's grab a fish. And let's explore some of this underwater area. Because there is a lot of stuff underwater in this level. Considering it's a... A seaside level. Which I guess makes sense then. Fish will make things going go by quicker, which is nice. Um, I might grab it again. If I can, please. There we go. Let's go in this hole here, except there's a thing there. Probably should have been a little bit more careful about that. But anyway, there's a side hole here, which gives us a power moon. I love the way power moons look. Slip through the nesting spot. Go, 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 go. Okay, I think there was a flag over here. Yeah. The flags, there's a few flags out on the very edge that you need to grab, so... Let's grab that one, and let's go through this little tunnel here. Because in this tunnel is another power moon. Shh, it's a, it's a shortcut. There we go. Grab some of these. I love being able to spin as a cheap, cheap to get coins. So this is a probably an interesting way to grind, is just killing these guys. Glass Palace Treasure Chest. Grab those ones. Already have half of the purple coins this level. Which is honestly surprising, considering just how much we have left to do. But anyway, let's grab some of these, since they make us run all over the place, which is very nice. I don't think there's any purple coins over here. But there are regular coins, so might as well, you know. I don't think there's anything here either, which is surprising. There's coins there, I guess. I don't know if that really counts though. Um, it'd be good to have a fish, because fish... You just can't go down very deep without a fish. Without a cheap sheep. Is there anything in any of these holes? I feel like there might be, but I can't see them. I'm gonna grab a fish. Cheap, cheap. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Purple coins. These, this is what I was looking for. Grab those. And now let's head down here, because we came down here earlier for... Uh, the seed, but there's also a few other things down here, like this cave here. Which, if we go... through... We get... A power moon. Gap in the ocean trench. Also, just a little bit further down from here, is a very familiar looking statue of, Sp of Sphinx. It's Sphinx! He's back! Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the name of this land? Uh, it's... Bubbling. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. More questions for us, though, so let's keep going. Have you not been asked enough questions yet? Let us see how you do with this one. How many fountains did the monster seal? Four. Hmm, yes, correct. You are, f uh, you are a formidable one. If you require questions, I have another. See if you can answer a third time. When you brave... Ah, uh, Traveler turned into a red fish. What ability did you get when you shook the Joy-Con? Tremble. <laughs> no, 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 it's Splash. Splash. Like, like the... Magikarp. Anyway, we, we got attack. Well now, three correct answers. Well done, Traveler. I have been saving this one. Answer me this. There is a room in this land that can only be entered if you're wearing the chosen clothing. 
What is that clothing? Uh, it's the resort outfit. Which we haven't done yet, but we'll do it at some point. Correct, but... Did you really know that? This is a normal place to wear a swimsuit, right? And the pirate look is great, even the undies. Wait, that was just a lucky guess, wasn't it? It was a lucky guess. You're a, you lucky guesser, you. No, I actually knew that. All right, fine. Let's settle this last question, Mr. Lucky Guesser. Why am I here? Got lost, fell off, fell off Dory, wanted to swim. But the correct answer is to ask questions. Gah, rah, rah. Ah, this cannot be, you cannot, you can't possibly have answered all my questions correctly. But I suppose I couldn't stay on top forever. Well done, take this. And he just gives us a power moon. And also the power moon that's in the underground room here that he opened up. So let's go get that one as well. The Sphinx's Underwater Vault. So there we go. Let's grab a cheap cheap and let's keep moving because I think there's nothing else down here for now. Some purple coins though. Let me grab those. Uh, I'm going to try and get all the purple coins now if I can. I do know where most of them are. And I can think of a few places that I've not gone to yet, technically. Um, but let's keep looking around quickly. I think there's actually some purple coins down here somewhere that I'd like to get. Uh, possibly in that cave up there. But first, let's go down here into this cave because there are some blocks on the ground here. And if we shake, we can actually destroy them. And, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go down. And we get a power moon. Underwater highway tunnel. Very nice. Okay. Let's keep moving. Also, the music in this level is great. Just wanted to bring that point back. And it changes depending on if you're out of the water or in the water. It's the same song, but it's just different feel. Which is nice. Uh, there's a door there, but I think there's... Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong, but there's some more coins here anyway, so let's grab those. Um, it does feel like there's supposed to be something else here, but I guess not. Oh well. I'm very good at remembering things that don't exist. And stuff that does exist. Anyway, secret room here. And we've got another one of these escape escape moons that we have to try and get. I'm surprised I got that one so quickly. Wriggling on the sandy bottom. Usually it takes me a little bit longer to get those ones since they run away from me. But anyway, um, I might also see if I can get the shopping moon from this. Ah, get away from me. Uh, he's scared of the fish. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just gonna get this. Oh my goodness, I have 64 purple coins. Perfect. I can't get any more. It's not allowed. Well, so that means that this sh this yellow part of the shopping gives you two moons because there's one that travels along with it and the one that you buy as well. But anyway, let's go down here because there's some purple coins on the ed edge here that I didn't get earlier. I thought about getting them earlier, but also wanted to get the seeds, so there should be a few more. Purple coins this level can be a little bit um, tricky sometimes, so I'm going to try and get them all. Okay, I'm also going to take this over this way, because there's actually some purple coins up there, which are very well hidden. I can also hit these blocks there if I wanted to. And if I can go over here into this little hole, I can go up. And there's a, uh, there's a secret door here, so let's go into that. Also, the squids have moustaches, which is interesting. But anyway, we need to go through this area now, as best as possible. We need to make sure we restock up on water so we can get through as well. We also need to not get attacked by the rest of the enemies that are around here. 
Okay, we've got some poison up ahead, but I can probably deal with that. You can kind of space out the, your water usage to try and get things done a little bit more. But if you can make it all the way over here without running out of water, which is a little bit difficult because you can just run out just before that, you can actually get another moon here because this is actually the secret moon in this area. Trade just in the narrow valley because down here is the actual moon we're supposed to be getting. Also, I believe right back here is some coins that we can get. Just regular coins, but still. Coin piles are somewhat useful sometimes, but anyway, let's get this power moon that I ignored for a few seconds. I can't stop saying how good the power moons look in this game. Can I have a real power moon yet, please, Nintendo? <laughs> I'm sure Nintendo knows just how good the power moons look. Surely. Ah, uh, let's see. What else is there to do? There's a few things. Um, I might actually get that rocket that's up there. Since we can bounce off of these, it makes it fairly easy. Oh, please. 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 There we go. Let's launch. And this secret level has these blocks that I really love. Just, I love this design. It's like super simplistic, but it's also super beautiful at the same time. It's like the, um, the secret levels or the time rifts from A Hatch in Time. I love those because it's, it's simple white with a few blue crystal things on it and it looks, it's just beautiful. You know, simple is blue, be beautiful sometimes, especially if it's like, a solid color mixed with some other color. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm sorry, I have to gush about things sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. Gonna hit that again so I keep being able to see where I'm going. There's also a secret path over this way, which takes us over here, and if we jump in, there's a treasure chest here with the power moon. Sunken treasure in the cloud sea. I love cloud sea. It's my it's a, it looks good in the Xenoblade. Okay, let's get over here and activate that. And now this is going to be infinite loop, these things, so... I have to be a little bit careful. But not that. It's not that bad, so... We just need to get up here and we're done. Oh my goodness, this... This level is making me want... Super Mario Odyssey in Mario Maker now. Where you can make levels like this. I don't know if that's going to be a thing in the next six months, but it might be. By the time this comes out, maybe. If it's not, then something is definitely wrong and we need Super Mario Odyssey in Super Mario Maker. Do it. And also Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and every other Mario game ever. Anyway, we've got a hint out here. Which, if you look at the white outline from the black, is says keep. You know? It's telling you to keep your Power Moon. Never get rid of them. Never put them in the Odyssey. That way you can see them go crazy. Also, these treasure chests here, we have to open them in the correct order. And it's also a reference to Super Mario 64 in the order that you open the chests in the in the cave. Because it's the same order and it's the same setup. So, it's, it's cool. Treasure trap hidden in the inlet. Anyway. If I can keep moving, please. Still quite a few things to do. Um, I'm debating what to do right now, though. Let's go over here, because there's the Fedora dog again. So let's follow, follow him to see where he takes us. Which is probably not going to be the Power Moon that we need. But, you know, he's trying. Puppy! Puppy! Ah, Palter Pop. Good boy! Well, thank you for some coins, but you're gonna need to, um... Gonna need to come with me all the way over this way. Just keep following me, doggy. Just, just, just keep following me, puppy. Ah, uh, this, this, this isn't it right here, but I can get... 
get rid of that. Oh, it's a, it's a Goombas. But anyway, somewhere around, way over here, should be a spot for the puppy to... the Fedora dog to find the actual moon that you're supposed to get with him. Right there, and there we go. Found on the beach, good dog. Um, let's see, I might actually, um, go in this pipe over here, since that's available to us. Just roll right in there to make it go faster. And look, it's this room again, and we have to find the power moon by vibrations, and it's right there. A rumble on the seaside floor. I just remember things sometimes, and it's amazing. I don't- I haven't even had to talk to the parrot that- the talker to that much. Ah, uh, now that I've said that, I'm gonna have, like, the worst luck ever and have to do it. Uh, I just gotta quickly check what's up here. I don't think there's anything of extreme value up here other than these purple coins. Uh, although this bit of water will be useful to get up a little bit further on the side of that cliff. So let's go ahead and grab one of these, um, squids. Come here. I'm pretty sure they're squids. They might be octopuses. But I'm pretty sure it's a squid. Pretty sure. And up we go, and then over this way. For a power moon. Ah, uh, but also, since we can actually reset the center point, or the ground point for, uh, the height we can get up to, we can actually go over this way to this little ledge here. Which is probably the easiest way to get to this ledge, which is useful. Because this is where Captain Toad is. I don't know how he climbed up this cliff. I wanted to get a nice view of the sea. So I climbed and climbed, and I got all the way up here. Again, how? You made it too. So here, take this power moon I found. Good job, Captain Toad. You climbed a cliff with an extremely heavy backpack. I wonder how I get down. Look, there's no fall damage, just jump. Just like that. Uh, but anyway, I actually need to... Uh, I think I can get these Goombas here. I don't, don't need the ones on the top of the cliff, I don't think. Uh, but I need to stack them for a Power Moon. Which is the... It's just a regular... Get the Goombas to the Goombet. Not Goombet. I don't know what the... The Lady Goomba. Ah. Goombleen. <laughs> that's, that, that's the best I can do. Because it has the, like, Pauline kind of hat. Kind of? Not really, it's very different. But it's similar. But anyway, there we go. It looks so pink in this lighting. Anyway, get rid of that. And grab that. Very nice. Love by the seaside. Um, I'm running out of ideas for moons, but there are definitely more to get. And there are also definitely purple coins, so I'm going to have to do something about that as well. So, let's go way over this way, because we we looked over here briefly. Uh, but there's still more to do over here, so. Particularly just purple coins. And I think maybe power moon? Possibly not, though. Anyway, here's some purple coins that are very, kind of, out of the way there, so I just don't want to forget those. And let's head on up here. Grab these purple coins. Ow. So rude. Uh, up here we have a power moon. I'm pretty sure this is a power moon if we ground pound here. In the right spot. There we go. The back canyon. Ex excavate. And up here was where the, um, the seed was that we got last time. So let's go down here for these pop coins here. 85, we're so close. Yet, yet, so far. We're, there's still quite a few more to get. Uh, I don't think there's any along the edge there. Actually, there might be some down there, that little hole there. I'll get that in a minute. First off, let's actually get into this hole here, which we can't take Cappy into. So that means we can't be a fish, and we're going to actually have to find bubbles to breathe. Because that's how breathing works. And we need to collect these little moon... moon... moon pieces of moon. I don't... I, oh, oh, but eels. Eels also. 
those are those are a thing. Luckily, the uh, moon pieces are actually inside a bubble, so if you need air, you can also get them from those. Oh my goodness, that was close. That coin is there just as a bit of extra air, since it doesn't have a moon in it, or moon piece. Okay, just this one and one more. But where's the last one? Get away! Nope. It's probably in those boxes, if I had to guess. Probably. Maybe. Nope, just a heart, but that does help. That does help. Ow. Pain. So where's this last one? If the camera would be nice to me, that'd be great. I'm just gonna spin and go up. I don't think it's that high. I think it's... There. Cool. I did it. Just gonna grab that. And there's the moon. Moon shards in the sea. Now let's get out of this hole. Which means we have to swim all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Okay. We've also got most of the moons in this level now. There's a few more I can think of though, and also purple coins. I have... Uh... 15 purple coins left, so that's pretty good. If I can get the rest, there's some three over there. Grab one of those. And grab those. Okay. Maybe it seems good f for now. And I think that's actually it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.